I've been seeing a lot of debate about uh, the push after the Tyson Fury uppercut the other day in the Tyson Fury Dillian White heavyweight title fight. Listen, man, I mean, technically a push is illegal, um, but in the moment, what are you gonna do? You're gonna stop, you're gonna not count, not, you're gonna not count White for a, a legal uppercut that he just took and he's hurt? That's first and foremost, number one. You can't, you gotta count White. Okay, that, you gotta, you gotta, it, it, there's, there's a pecking order there, okay? If the fight continues, maybe you give Fury a warning for the push. You can't take a point, that's for sure, because I'll tell you what the push was for. When you hurt a guy like that, a lot of times he falls on top of you and he holds on for dear life. And then you, when you drag him off of you, you and he winds up on the floor, you don't get credit for a knockdown. It winds up being called a, a slip. Yeah, how many times have you seen that? When a guy is hurt and he holds on for dear life and then the guy who's trying to finish the job is trying to get him off, pry him off, and the guy's holding on for dear life. And when he gets him off, the guy just falls on the floor, plops on the floor, and it's not called a knockdown. Then he gets up, you got to wipe off his gloves, and he recovers. So you avoid that in that moment right there. You avoid what, what Fury avoided White holding on to him by hitting him with the uppercut and pushing him off before White could jump in and grab, right? And then it, it, the onus is on him to get up. Listen, he got up and he and he wasn't okay. He fell forward, and uh, you know there's no debate about the stoppage. I'm sure everybody agrees with that, right? So, um, in the end, I mean that that's uh, that that's what it boils down to. I think if maybe if the fight continues, maybe you give Fury a warning for the push. You're definitely not gonna take a point right off, off right, right off the bat because that's not what brought him down. What brought him down was the uppercut. He was very very badly hurt. I've seen fights. It makes me recall uh, Amir Khan and Lamont Peterson where. Khan was pushing Peterson so much that he points were taken away, but that was legitimately happening all night, though. You know what I'm saying? So it's different in that in that instance, and I, he was one for that as well. You know, uh, a push is not legal, but again, in the context of the moment, this is why you have to also referee in, with the spirit of the of the rules instead of the the letter of the rules. In that moment, the knockdown takes precedence. And then, and you know, like I said, I just told you the reason for that push off is just so White can't grab a hold of Fury. Fury's avoiding that, and that way uh, he he gets his knockdown because if he allows Fury to, or if he allows White to hold on, it's possible that White is able to hold on to him. And by the time Fury pries him off him, White's gonna go straight down because White doesn't have his balance because he's actually hurt from the punch. And like I said, a lot of times you see referees not calling that a knockdown. Once the guy holds on for the life, and the, the 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 fighter trying to get the finish pushes him, gets finally gets the guy off him, you know, and the guy goes down. It's 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 uh it's a slip. The guy takes his time getting up. They wipe off the gloves, and before you know it, the guy recovers and the fight's continuing. So, in that moment, I know it's tricky. I know it's uh, sort of a uh, sort of a uh, spur of the moment. Um, it's, it's subjective, really, but. Um, that's the way I see it, you know, and I, I think logic has to take over in that in that circumstance and common sense has to take over. So I don't think White has really a, a gripe for that push. Um, you know, he walked into the uppercut. It was a clean uppercut. He was set up for it. And ultimately, that's the reason for the fight to, to be over. And Fury had a legitimate reason to get that push off. You know, he didn't want White holding on. Uh, you know, let me know what you guys think. I, I know that I, I've seen various, various reactions on this push off, but ultimately, I don't think it had any effect on the the result of the fight. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know uh, if you think White has a gripe about this, and uh, if you, you know if you agree with the, even my take. You know, if you understand my take, I'm trying to put you guys in the position of being that posi inside the ring uh, in the spur of the moment. And uh, you know what what the what the fighter who gets the other his who has his opponent hurt is thinking. I'm Paulie Malinaji. Thanks for watching Paulie TV. Mm -hmm.